Al-Qaeda is a global terrorist group founded by Osama bin Laden in the late 1980s that supported Muslims in their fight against the Soviets in the Afghan war. They, as well as the Taliban and Islamic State, hope to rid the world of perceived Western threats against Islam. Additionally, they want to become the single political leader of the Islamic world, and they will use any means to do so. While they are mainly using bombs and explosives to achieve this, they were also known for using handguns, knives, and other firearms. Al-Qaeda was originally based in Sudan, but re-established their base in Afghanistan in 1996. The group is mainly transported through automobiles on land and watercraft on sea. And lower level foot soldiers can even be transported by commercial airline. The figureheads of Al-Qaeda include Ayman al-Zawahiri, Saif al-Adel, and Osama bin Laden. Funding for this group came in the form of donations, ransoms, control of oil, the selling of antiques and artifacts, and bank scams. Some notable high-profile attacks committed by this terrorist organization include the Yemen hotel bombings in 1992, the bombing of the U.S. embassies in Nairobi, Kenya, and Dar es Salaam in 1998, the bombing of the USS Cole in 1998, and of course, the attack on the Twin Towers in 2001. How has your life been affected by terrorism? Huh. Well, I'm aware of it just because I read the news and I watch the news on a daily basis, so I'm aware of terrorism. But like, I'm not nervous about. I just live my life. I'm not. I don't. It doesn't affect my daily life other than just being aware of it. Okay. What do you know about the terrorist group Al Qaeda? Uh, just enough to know that you know they've. They've got a, an internet presence, so they're, you know, not only, uh, you know, a problem in the Middle East, but, you know, they're recruiting people, you know, in the United States and in Great Britain and around the world and uh, Africa, so. Okay. Um, well, apparently, everyone remembers where they were during the 9-11 attack. Do you? Yeah, no, I remember. I was working for Coca-Cola at the time. And I was in a conference room, and somebody had mentioned something about uh, a plane had flown into the World Trade Center. And I used to live in New York, so I was like, "Well, let's get a TV." And we put, had a TV. We brought it into the conference uh, room, turned it on, and we were watching the news about how the plane had flown into the tower. And it was just everybody was just stunned, and it was just. Uh, it was completely quiet. I mean, there's a room full of people, but you could have heard a pin drop. And uh, we were all in the conference room when the second plane, we were watching it live when the second plane flew into the second tower. And uh, we were just like, it was awful because we knew that there had to have been like hundreds, if not thousands of people that died. And of course we found out afterward that thousands, you know, a couple thousand people had perished from the uh, terrorist attack, so um, it was pretty stunning, pretty, uh, it was a pretty interesting time, yeah. What is the war on terror to you? The war on terror? Um, well, I think, I think a lot of people are focused on just like trying to keep people out of the country, you know, and of course, there's a lot of security measures at airports and at public events and stuff like that. But I think there's a, a deeper issue with um, people that are displaced from uh, disenfranchised, you know, around the world. People that are probably don't have an education, don't have uh, meaningful employment, you know, and are kind of, you know, drawn towards this uh, this sort of like violent, um, desperate. Uh, so-called religious path, you know, where they want to go and, you know, I don't know, they just, they don't, that needs to be, I think the problem is, you know, we need to address, you know, the roots of what's drawing people to, uh, to terrorism. And I think it has to be more with, um, you know, I think the global, um, what is it called, the uh, environmental changes that are happening have, you know, displaced a lot of the the farmers 
in these uh, third world countries. So, you know, they're moving to the cities and, you know, and they're, they're uh, finding that there's no work, no meaningful employment. So it's, uh, you know, uh, what these people used to have, you know, used to be able to farm their lands. Now they've got nothing to do and, you know, time on their hands and nothing but bad ideas going into their heads. So they're acting on a lot of these bad ideas. Do you think terrorism has affected your civil rights? Has affected my civil rights? Mm, not yet, but I feel like it's heading in that direction. I feel like the government's creating a lot of laws to so to, to protect us, but you know, they're uh, you know they're spying on us, spying on the American citizens. They're collecting information. They're, you know they're. Um, yeah, I think uh, our civil rights are starting like little by little to get, you know, infringed on because of out of fear because you know people want to be protected, but you know I think there should be a balance. I think it's kind of going in a direction that's not healthy, and it's yeah. Thank you for your time, Mr. Hadley. Okay, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs>